Hello, my name is William Gomez. Uh, today, or well, yesterday, I released um, my new program that I've been working on, which is an SEO site crawler, or, well, it's not just for SEO, it's just site, it crawls the sites for errors and, and things like that. And I'm just going to walk through how it works. Um, so firstly, you can download it on my website, um, beamusup.com. And I've just done a scan of my website. All you do is just type in the URL in and then press enter or click start. And what it does, and like some other crawlers, it is it categorizes things into certain filters. So as an example, uh, just to note, you know, the, there's a th uh, 301 redirect from the author back to um, the home page. There's some pages blocked by uh, Meta Robots, and if we click on anything, you'll be able to see um, uh, more information about that here, and also see incoming links. So, what pages link to this? So this could be useful if you know you don't want things to be linking to index no follow, perhaps. So you could ch change certain things, and also outgoing links uh, would be uh, what links are on this page and, and where they're going to. What we also get here is the response code. And we can see here there's one linking to a 301. And there's one here that says zero because this is an external link, which brings me on to the next point. So the sort of configuration options we've got here is if I wanted that to work, I could uh, try to load external URLs and store their response code. So in this case, uh, we'd find out what the response code of that page was, but it wouldn't crawl any further than that. Crawling outside a starting folder. So if I'd started in forward slash blog or something like that, it would crawl outside of, of the subfolder it was in, crawl subdomains, so it would crawl blog.beamusup.com or anything else like that. Parsing robots.txt, what that does is it uses the robots.txt and ignores uh, the pages that the robots.txt would ignore, like, like a real crawler. And parsing the sitemaps, this will find your sitemaps on your site. Um, and even if I'm using Yoast's sitemap plugin, so it will find that as well, even though it's not sitemaps.xml, so it will find out what it is. In terms of crawler threads, what that does is basically it makes me uh, crawl 10 pages at a time, like I'm 10 visitors. So if you've got a, you know, a site that's weak or, <laughs> or something like that, maybe you can change that to one if using a client site or a live site or something like that, and you don't want to slow the site down. We also have a file here and save an open project, but that's not working at the moment. This is, is, is basically what it does. And we've got here like title too long, um, just saying your title's too long and it tells you what the length of it is. Down here, you see it doesn't say anything. So what I want here is for the community and, and I'll, I'll update it is to put more details about what that means and ways to fix it and things like that. And it's got things to note, like you've got page of H1 missing. Now, this is something that I find quite interesting. It's um, a lot of times a real canonical, especially if you're using like WordPress and using a plugin will be exactly the same. In most cases, that's fine. It's the same. What might be interesting to you sometimes is seeing rel canonicals that are different. And that's what we have here. So th this is on the left, the actual URL that it is and where it's uh, linking the canonical URL to. What's have here, the meta description is missing. And although I know meta description doesn't do anything for SEO, um, it does increase your click through rates and thus get more people on your site. And it's just a sort of a reminder but your title's too short and things like that. Also, other things it'll check for is uh, duplicate pages. It'll check for pages with iframes in them. It has a lot more things it will find. You just have to, it has to be on your site for you to find it. What you can also do is uh, search for all URLs that have been found. So it'll show you every URL that's been found um, on the site or all filters. It'll show you all of the URLs that match one of these filters. We've also got the export options here to export uh, what I'm seeing, export everything or export only URLs that I'm seeing. The export functions at the moment, they export to CSV, but they're not perfect uh, yet. In fact, a lot of times they don't work, so I'll get that right soon. And what it also does, if you do have a page with uh, duplicate content, is that when it finds it, rather than just saying this page got duplicate, this tab here opens and it'll tell you which other pages have duplicate content of the same content. So if your index.html is a copy of about us.html, let's say it'll say index.html and these are the ones that are copies. The same things with if you've got duplicate title, uh, pay, title tags, it'll tell you where that duplicate is, uh, which is quite useful, I think. And yeah, that's about it. What I'd like for people to do is to please share this share this video, share uh, the program uh, so more people can use it and then we can get more people talking about it and um, 
yeah, submitting bugs and submitting ideas so we can make this some really great software. Like I said, it's free. You're welcome to download it at beamersop.com. It's pretty much the first thing you see when you get to the website. It works on Mac, Linux, and PC. Well, I've personally not tested it on PC, but I've had other people's, I mean on Mac, but I've had other people tell me it works. On Linux, I've actually had no one to test it. So if if you use it or you know someone who does or if you've got access to it, please test it out and tell me how it w works for you. Uh, the file is in a .jar, so basically that's a, an executable. Executable? I don't know what the word is. Anyway, it's like an X file or a DMG file on a Mac, um, but it opens in Java, and most computers have Java installed. Uh, so don't worry about, oh, you can't open it. If you can't open it, you need to download Java, which is you know a sort of standard program anyway. And that's about it. Please share this and, and, and show people and you let me know what you think, especially so we can get this to be, you know, a great piece of software for everyone to use. Thank you.